Hello, I am Shubham from IBM Security Verify Access Team. In this video, I am going to cover how you can configure additional interface in IBM Security Verify Access. So let's get started. First of all, we will verify how many interfaces are configured in our current environment. So we can verify it from both like LMI or CLI. So from LMI, we can go to Systems, Network Setting, Interfaces. Here you can see we have only one interface. Another one is loopback. So we can just ignore it. So as of now, there is only one 1.1 1 .1 interface. We are going to configure 1.2 interface. To list all available interfaces in our environment, we can use command like network interfaces list. You can see as of now, there is only 1.1 .1 interface. So I will open vSphere. After opening vSphere, I have currently selected my ISVA box. Before configuring the interface, you will have to stop this box. So I will click on this shutdown button. Click on yes. Thereafter, I will click on refresh button. Now you can see the play button above my VM is vanished. Now I will have to edit the settings. So I will click on edit settings. In edit settings, you can see there is only one network adapter. To add additional network adapter, you will have to click on add new device, then network adapter. Here it is showing me VLAN number. So our current interface is in finance six VLAN, but for additional interface, we are going to use different VLAN because configuring multiple interfaces on the same subnet might cause certain interfaces to appear unresponsive or other network connectivity issues. So the prepared way to rectify this problem is to configure different interfaces in different subnet. I'm going to select here finance two. Click on OK and that's it. Now you can see we have added additional interface with finance to VLAN. Click on OK. Now in network settings, you can see it is showing me it is in two different VLANs. Thereafter, start the box. Click on power on button. Wait for some time until your VM is started. Now, as we can see, there is a play button in front of our VM name. Means our VM is started. Thereafter, try to log into the LMI. So I will just open my ISVA LMI. Then go to system. Then network settings. Then interfaces. Now you can see there is one additional interface, which is 1.2. So we will have to edit this interface to edit this interface, select the interface first, then click on edit, then enable it, give it any name. If you want, you can keep it a blank, then provide the IP address. I'm going to set up a new IPv4 address. So click on manual new, then IP address. If you want to use this IP address as a management address, you can select this option. So basically why we are configuring two interfaces. So the one interface will be used for the management address as well as another interface will be used for the application purpose. I'm not going to use this as a management interface ID. So I'm not going to select this as a management address as of now. Currently it is showing me error because I haven't provided any subnet mask. So I will just provide any subnet mask like slash 22. Then save the configuration. Once again, save the configuration. To apply these changes, you will have to perform deploy changes. To do that, click on review pending changes, then deploy. So after performing full deployment, new IP address will be assigned to our newly added interface. It will also perform a UI restart. So by using this method, we can set up additional interface on LMI. Now, if you want to set up an interface through CLI, then what you can do, just open the SSH session. You can use help command to find out all the additional commands. 
Now I will list interfaces on CLI. So use command like network interfaces list. You can see there is one additional interface 1.2. If you want to set this interface or edit this interface, you can use command like network interfaces set and hit the enter button. Thereafter, you will have to select the interface. So we are going to change value for 1.2 interface. So enter 3. If you want to enable this interface, so I want to enable this interface. So I will use 1. Then I will select IP4 configuration mode as a manual. I have already configured the address. So I will use 1 to show the address. But if you want to add an address, then you can select 2. So I will use 1. As you can see, IP address is already there for this interface. After performing the changes, click on 4 and that's it. So this is how you can set up an interface through CLI. Thank you.